Hello world, welcome to CyberCrete and today in this video we are going to have a look at the question called collecting candies and this questions have been asked in TCS code beta so we are basically going to find the solution for it so let's just start okay let us just simply read the question Krishna loves candies a lot so whenever he get them he stores them so that he can eat them later whenever he wants to he has recently received n boxes of candies each containing ci candies he have received like n boxes of candies and each have ci number of things candies where ci represent the total number of candies in ith box so krishna wants to store them in a single box so he just want to store all of them inside a single box the only constant is that he can choose any two boxes and store their joint content in an empty box. Assume that he have infinite number of empty box. Okay, means he can just put the candies of only two boxes. He can't put all of the three at once. So this is the basically a constant given here. At a time, he can pick up two boxes for transferring. And if both of the boxes contain X and Y, just say it contains X and Y number of candies respectively then it takes exactly x plus y seconds of time as he is too eager to collect all of them he had approached you to tell him the minimum time okay okay this boy is going to give us trouble for finding the minimum second but let us help him let us see the input constraint like first line will contain number of test cases like how many times this program is going to run and each test case will have first line the number of boxes means first line this will be given like number of boxes we have the second line input in an integer delimits by white space denoting the number of candies in each box so this will basically it every c1 c2 c3 it will be denoted by n number of integers and output print the minimum number of times so we have to just simply print the minimum number of time that is required to do so well the constraint is not so much we can see the constraint now let us just simply understand this with an example that is given here sample input is 1 4 then 1 2 3 4 and the output is 19 second so let us see how it is currently working means he have one box he, here the number of boxes are 4 so he have 4 boxes and for first box he have one candy for second box he have two for third box you have three candies and for fourth you have four and we have to find the minimum time and only he can pick two of the boxes at a time so let us just simply pick the two of the boxes and when we pick two of the boxes it is going to take one plus two equal to three second and now here is three candies now three second is taken now again when we take this three now this three and three together now for transferring this 3 to this 3 to 6 it is now again going to take 3 plus 3 x plus y time of second that means it is going to take 6 second then it is going to take 6 second then we have to take this 4 second this 4, four candies box here when you took this 4 candies box here then we can then when we are going to put them together then it is going to take 6 plus 4 that is 10 second and what is the overall time taken we have to just simply add this 6 plus 3 9 9 plus 10 19 this is how our time is basically calculated that we can see 19 so here let us just see how it is happening first when he took 1 to 2 then it takes 3 second then we just store the 3 second here but again when he is trying to do 3 and 3 it is going to take 6 more second then we are simply adding it to our previous time taken then again when he is going to take 4 seconds it is going to take uh, we are just simply going to add this 6 and 4 and then we are going to add it with the previous time taken here and at the end when the two boxes are only left then when we simply add them it is going to take this much amount of time we are just going to simply sum all of them and we are going to get the result but here is one more catch we have to find the minimum number of time and here whenever you see the question given here and the numbers are in sorting order like 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and then you must try to take an example without any sorted number because it is never mentioned here that you are going to get input in sorted order so this often 
led to failure of some of the test cases as we are simply checking on ascending order numbers so if we are just going to try for 4 2 3 and 1 then it is not going to work because for 4 4 plus 2 we are going to have 4 plus 2 6 it means uh, we took for 6 second and for then 3 then 6 plus 3 so 6 plus 3 then we are going to take 9 second and here we are adding 9 and 9 plus 1 it is going to take 10 second so here we have 10 again so for this this is not going to be the minimal time so for getting the minimum time we have to simply sort them in ascending order and then we have to perform this calculation here so i think you basically get the logic of our program and if you like to program you can just go there and try to code this in your own language but here we are going to code in python so let us just start coding here is our code at first we are going to take t which is number of test cases from the user and then we are going to loop through that number of times and first we are going to take input of boxes like how many number of boxes are there and then we are going to take candies like for which box uh, number of candies are there c1 c2 c3 like 1 2 3 4 that is stored in our candies and again here we are going to check if the length of the candies is greater than 1 it means if there is actually some candies there because if there is no candies we have to just simply print 0 because that means no time is going to be taken to fill up and c is equal to candies of 0 plus candies of 1 here we are just simply doing 1 plus 2 that we did there and then time is equal to c and in this time we are simply going to add it again so we are going to start from 2 because 0 and 1 is already added so we are just starting our loop from 2 and 2 to length of the candies like 1 2 3 4 then we are starting we have already summed 1 and 2 so we are starting from 3 and c plus is equal to candies of i so this is basically adding uh, c will already have 3 seconds for uh, each boxes then c plus candies of i means 3 plus the again 3 then c will become 6 and we are simply adding the previous time taken that is 3 to c time so it will basically do time plus c it is going to basically 3 plus 3 6 and this 6 will be stored in time then again it will increase our candies to 4 then c plus candies and then the time c plus candies is going to be 6 plus 4 equal to 10 and the time is already 6 6 plus 10 it is going to be 6 plus 3 plus 10 it is basically going to be 19 here and then we are simply printing our time here so this is basically our code i hope you just understood this video and gained some information from it and if you did so please make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching